Liam Payne. Hello fans. Today we start by mourning the tragic loss of Liam Payne, a global superstar, philanthropist, and loving father who has touched the hearts of millions around the world. It's difficult to imagine the world without his bright smile, his music that has comforted many, and the countless achievements he made over his lifetime. In this video, we will celebrate his incredible journey through life, from his early beginnings to the heights of superstardom, his relationships, his philanthropy, and his legacy. As we remember him, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to honor his memory and keep his story alive. Liam Payne was more than just a member of One Direction. He was an artist, a father, and an inspiration who worked tirelessly to make his mark on the world. His contributions to the music industry earned him accolades that few could achieve in such a short period. He leaves behind a powerful legacy, and today we will reflect on his life, his music, and his personal journey. About Liam Payne's early life and family. Liam was born in Wolverhampton, West Midlands, England, to Jeff and Karen Payne. Liam was born three weeks early and, as a result, suffered many health problems as an infant. He spent the first four years of his life in and out of hospital, needing regular testing. Doctors eventually noticed one of his kidneys was scarred and dysfunctional. To help cope with the pain, Liam needed 32 injections in his arm every day. In 2012, Liam found his kidney was fully functioning again. Despite these struggles, Liam showed an interest in singing from a young age. His family supported his musical talents, encouraging him to perform at local events. Payne was also active in sports, particularly cross-country running. However, it was his passion for music that led him to audition for television talent shows. Liam attended St. Peter's Collegiate School and later enrolled in the city of Wolverhampton College, where he studied music technology. Though he briefly pursued an athletic career, it was clear that Liam's future lay in music. His talent was undeniable, and he would soon embark on a life-changing journey. Musical career, early beginnings. From the age of six, Liam showed signs of singing talent. He would sing for relatives or pub crowds on karaoke nights. Before pursuing music, however, Liam focused on becoming an Olympic runner, joining both the Wolverhampton and Bilston Athletics Club. He trained at 5 a.m. every day, running five miles before school. His running dream ended at 14 years old, when he narrowly missed out on a spot in the England school team. Liam then decided to refocus on music. He joined Pink Productions, a performing arts group based in Wolverhampton, at age 12. This allowed him to begin performing in front of live audiences for the first time. Liam completed 11 GCSEs at St. Peter's Collegiate School before studying music technology at Wolverhampton College Paget Road Campus. The X Factor Liam originally auditioned for The X Factor's fifth series in 2008, when he was 14 years old. He was eliminated at the judges' houses, where Simon Cowell decided Liam was too young to continue. Cowell requested for Liam to come back in two years after completing his schooling. Liam planned to return the following year, but was unable to audition due to X Factor raising the application age to 16. In 2010, Liam returned to the X Factor's seventh season, auditioning with Crimea River by Arthur Hamilton. He received a standing ovation from the audience and from Simon before scoring a yes from all four judges. At boot camp, he sang Stop Crying Your Heart Out by Oasis. All three judges were impressed, but Simon felt he was one-dimensional. As such, he was eliminated as a solo artist, then placed into One Direction. The band placed third, but went on to sign a record deal with Simon Cowell's label Psycho Music and released five best-selling albums between 2011 and 2015. Writing and producing, Payne and Tomlinson co-wrote the majority of One Direction songs, often referring to each other as a writing team. In 2014, Payne co-wrote a song for Cheryl titled I Won't Break, featured on her fourth album, Only Human. In the same year, Liam remixed One Direction's You and I and Steal My Girl. Payne and Tomlinson were named in 2015 as some of Song Split's top songwriters in the world. The annual list showcases who in the entertainment industry is the most relevant and valuable based on airplay, digital sales, and web streams. They placed 54th and 55th. For One Direction's fifth album, Made in the AM, 
Liam played instruments on Hey Angel, co-produced and played all instruments on Love You Goodbye and remixed Drag Me Down. In 2015, Liam co-wrote a song for Irish boy band Hometown called The Night We Met. In 2014 and 2016, Liam collaborated with American rapper Juicy J on several tracks which remain unreleased. 2016 to 2021 Initial Solo Projects and LP1 Following One Direction's hiatus in 2016, Liam Payne embarked on a solo career. In 2017, he released his debut solo single, Strip That Down, featuring Quavo. The song was a commercial success, reaching the top 10 in multiple countries and going multi-platinum in the US and UK. His debut album, LP1, released in December 2019, featured a mix of pop, R&B, and dance influences. While the album received mixed reviews, it solidified Liam as a solo artist, with singles like Bedroom Floor, Get Low, and Stack It Up garnering significant attention. Payne also collaborated with several high-profile artists during this period, including Rita Ora for the song For You, which was part of the 50 Shades Freed soundtrack. 2023 to 2024, planned second studio album. Before his untimely passing, Liam was reportedly working on his highly anticipated second studio album. Fans were eager to see how he would evolve musically, especially after hinting at a more mature sound. His second album was expected to delve deeper into his personal life and experiences, offering listeners a more intimate glimpse into his thoughts and emotions. Unfortunately, this album remains unfinished, a testament to the potential Liam still had in his career. Other ventures, beyond music, Liam was a talented businessman and creative individual. He ventured into modeling, signing with a major agency in 2019, and made appearances at various fashion events. He also showed an interest in acting, although he never fully pursued a career in Hollywood. Endorsements and Investments Liam had numerous endorsement deals, collaborating with brands such as Hugo Boss and sportswear companies. His Hugo Boss collaboration in 2020, in particular, garnered attention for its sleek and modern designs. He also made smart investments in real estate, including purchasing properties across the UK. Philanthropy Liam Payne was deeply involved in charitable work throughout his career. He supported a variety of causes including children's hospitals, poverty alleviation programs, and mental health initiatives. He was a prominent advocate for the hashtag IAMWOL mental health campaign, raising awareness for mental health issues particularly among young men. His charitable efforts made a lasting impact, further solidifying his legacy beyond music. Awards and Nominations Over the years, Liam earned several prestigious accolades. His work with One Direction garnered countless awards, and his solo career brought him nominations for major awards like the MTV Europe Music Awards, Teen Choice Awards, and iHeartRadio Music Awards. His single Strip That Down won numerous certifications, and his voice and songwriting abilities were praised by critics and fans alike. Personal Life Liam's personal life was often in the spotlight. He was in six high-profile relationships. From 2010 to late 2012, Payne dated then X Factor dancer Danielle Pizer. From 2013 to 2015, he was in a relationship with childhood friend Sophia Smith. In 2016, he started dating Cheryl Cole. They had one son who was born on March 22, 2017. They split in 2018. In early 2019, he dated British model and actress Naomi Campbell. Payne began dating model Maya Henry in 2019. They became engaged in August 2020. By June 2021, Payne and Henry had ended their relationship. The couple reunited that year and became engaged again. In May 2022, the couple ended their engagement for the second time. Since October 2022, he had been in a relationship with influencer Kate Cassidy. About Liam Payne's health and passing. In recent years, Liam had been open about his struggles with alcoholism and suicidal ideation. He admitted that life in the spotlight had taken a toll on him, leading to some tough periods of reflection. Later, in 2023, he announced his sobriety and said that he went to a rehab facility after the interview. Payne received an ADHD diagnosis as an adult. In August 2023, Payne was hospitalized with a kidney infection. On October 16, 2024, 
Payne died after falling from a third-floor balcony at the Casa Sur Hotel in the Palermo neighborhood of Buenos Aires, Argentina, at the age of 31. Police were called to the hotel following an emergency call from the hotel manager, who reported an aggressive man who could be under the effects of drugs and alcohol. The manager indicated in the call that, when he is conscious, he is destroying the entire room and we need you to send someone, noting that the man's life was at risk due to the room having a balcony. Payne fell from the balcony shortly after emergency services arrived. His death was confirmed at 5.11 p.m. Argentina time art. His death has left fans, friends, and family heartbroken. Lifestyle, net worth, house, and cars. Before his death, Liam had an estimated net worth of 45 million pounds. Liam Payne's luxurious Buckinghamshire home, nestled in a serene countryside setting, is a sprawling mansion boasting modern elegance and rustic charm. The property features five bedrooms, a cinema room, a gym, and a games room, making it perfect for both relaxation and entertainment. Outside, the estate includes beautifully landscaped gardens, a swimming pool, and a tennis court. The home's interior combines contemporary designs with traditional touches, featuring high ceilings, large windows, and neutral tones. Surrounded by nature, the house offers privacy and tranquility while still being close to London, making it an idyllic retreat for the pop star. Payne previously owned homes in Malibu, California, and Surrey but listed them both for sale in early 2020 and 2021, respectively. Legacy Liam Payne's legacy goes far beyond his music. He will be remembered as a kind-hearted, generous individual who dedicated much of his life to helping others. His contributions to mental health awareness, his philanthropic endeavors, and his music will continue to inspire generations to come. Though he is no longer with us, Liam Payne's influence on the world will never be forgotten. His music will live on in the hearts of millions, and his legacy will continue to make a difference in the world. Thank you for joining us in remembering Liam Payne. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to keep Liam's memory alive.